On Thursday morning, we got more proof that anyone who isn't watching boxing below 122 pounds is truly missing out. Juan Hang Meniyothan became the second Thai fighter in the past month to pick up a strawweight world title, stopping WBC champion Oswaldo Navoa in nine rounds in his homeland of Thailand. Navoa had garnered a reputation as a good road fighter, having won his title from Zhang Zhao Zhang in China, but like so many fighters before him, couldn't get the job done in Thailand. He didn't go down without a fight, though. For nine rounds, it was a high-paced slugfest, with both men selling out defensively to land punches. Prior to the bout, there was a dispute over which gloves would be used, with Wan Hang eventually caving and using the Cleto Reyes mitts Navoa's team requested, rather than his traditional twins gloves. In the end, the gloves might have helped him, as a right hand staggered him and had him in deep trouble in the ninth round. Ultimately, Navoa would remain on his stool and not come out for the tenth. This turned out to be a great gamble by Wan Hang's promoters, who overpaid in the purse bid and put up more than $170,000 to win the auction and bring the fight to Bangkok. Now, whether it ultimately mattered or not, they put Navoa, a fighter who had gradually come down in weight throughout his career, in a hostile, scorching hot environment. It's not a stretch to think that that had something to do with him retiring on his stool. Wan Hang joins knockout CP Freshmart in the ranks of Thai titleists at 105 as well as sharing the distinction of converted Muay Thai fighter turned boxing champion. As has always been the case at minimum weight, the lack of overall depth and the unfortunate lack of money available forces the division's very best to face one another. Francisco Rodriguez and Katsunari Takayama turned in a fight of the year candidate already this year, with Rodriguez unifying a pair of belts. Matchups between Juan Hang, Fresh Mart, Rodriguez, and the rest of the top 10 are not only possible, they're basically probable. So next time you're at home stewing about how the best fighters aren't fighting one another in a given division, just know that there are weight classes where things work the way they're supposed to in boxing.